like that i am back so glad to be back i'm still in a bit of a smaller room but that's okay because it's the setup i like so here we are looking good turn the lights on everything is back that was very loud step one i need to eat starving i need to pee i need to turn the heat on it's always freezing in here when i first come in I'll put it on 27 for now and yeah i'll catch you up with you in a bit so now i need to go through what i brought to see what i can eat because i'm being honest with you all pretty broke this week i spent all my money finishing christmas shopping and the house decorations i'm always scared that light's not gonna turn on because it didn't once and i bought a lot of clothes as you saw in yesterday's vlog at old navy to help me stay warm so yeah i got some brookside chocolate and granola bars here's my makeup i have no idea where my very expensive foundation is that's kind of low-key taking me out but i brought another kind that i'll just use i guess this week unless it's in my uh suitcase which 50 50 or if i just can't leave the house without them um forks and then this i not to use plastic cutlery but someone gave it to me when i ordered food gloves i forgot my new favorite kind so thank god i brought those more granola bars see the thing about these is these are definitely gonna be high in sugar i bet six grams of sugar in here 15 grams of sugar in here it's crazy because these are 150 calories and then these ones are 130 and i was drinking this starbucks coffee the other day like a one from the grocery store i still have this this only has two grams of sugar anyways there was like a crazy amount of sugar in there and i just turned off the sugar um i got some also grain rice i got some pringles okay good i shoved more food in my bag than i thought i forgot my advent calendar i got a shake i got another shake okay these only have one gram of sugar i believe one gram that's pretty good i drink these because yeah i don't really eat that much meat i don't know if i'm getting all my nutrients so i have this for lunch every day it works well plus i feel like i don't get groggy after lunch i don't know i used to talk to your doctor before doing that never did don't recommend not doing that oh i got some chicken rice aroni i brought uh timothy's k-cup oh good brought my matcha Ooh, yep i would do that i have literally been addicted to matcha lately just realized i would have forgot my coffee creamer at home though because i didn't have anything in the fridge what else is in here starburst that i'm sitting on my desk at work my favorite oh this is the oriental rice it's not bad um Oh good. I brought chili. I could eat chili and rice. How many calories are on this? 270. But okay. I think that's only one. Oh, and then I just got this new salad dressing to try. Um, roasted garlic and bacon. I'm excited. I thought I bought white rice. I'm just gonna put that in that. But I might go to the grocery store later like thin mints random not a meal peanut butter cookie cookie gum no flour. i got another rice i got avril 
cookies and cream. Those are for work. Oh no. One of my coffees open. That's my Starbucks iced coffee cookie. And then I got sugar free these. I also got that for work. So this is what we're working with so far. And basically because now I drive up Monday morning instead of driving in down Sunday night. Um, I don't have, because I'm trying to save money, like, I go to the buffet and I pick up fruit and if they have veggies, maybe some other products, and then I bring them and eat them throughout the day. So tomorrow morning, I'll take you with me and we're going to have a nice big breakfast because, yeah, I never do and I'm going to need it tomorrow. And then I'll stockpile. I feel like I'm literally back at meal hall. I'll stockpile some fruit for the day. And I'll eat that along with this. Today I forgot snacks because they're in my car. So I'll bring snacks so I can have a couple snacks in case I feel laggy. And yeah. I don't know what I'll have now. Maybe chili and rice. And then I think I'll go pick up some spinach at... Walmart or something and then I can make salad this week so we'll figure it out um I already went out and faced traffic uh to get gas so I spent my $50 that I have until Thursday or 50 of the $70 I have until Thursday on the gas to fill up they'll get me home too on whatever day and I get paid Thursday and then hopefully I'll go home and I'm not going to touch anything I'm going to put it all I put this is how I budget. I put 50 in my travel account every week I get paid and I put 100 to 150. I think it's 100 yeah and 150 to my savings account and then the rest is going to go on my credit card until I pay off my credit card because now I literally should be done. I have enough warm clothes now to get me through this uh, job and then I have all my Christmas gifts done I think. Yeah, I should. So I think I'll have all my Christmas gifts done, so I should pay off my credit card in four weeks. Ooh, that's actually going to be rough because I work two weeks and have almost two weeks off. I'll go two weeks without pay. And then, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I didn't budget right, but after the holidays... I'm like cutting back, you know, and then I'll get really serious because like I had things I had to buy and stuff, so yeah, it's a little rough now, but um, starting January, I'll just be rolling in the money. I calculated how much I've got paid my time working so far versus how much I spent. <laughs> Oops. Basically, I spent 1500 and I saved... 750 which is kind of bad but whatever and I, my whole plan is I gotta pay off my credit card and then cut that up and then save to pay off student loans or to go to grad school and I also have to pay $100 maybe I don't know because I applied in April so my fee might still be there I might want to apply for grad school because I want to go so yeah that's my update for today. This still hasn't disappeared. I think it's just gonna be part of me. And yeah, I'm so freaking tired and so hungry, so I don't know if I want chili. Oh, they put nachos on these. Or put under them, I guess. Like they made chili cheese nachos. I could do that too. I could buy nacho chips tomorrow. If I'm really feeling it later, I'll just go out to Walmart and buy spinach and I guess nacho chips, but we'll see. I'm supposed to go to Lush this week too, so that's going to be an expense um, because I'm out of all my Lush products and they're having one here, so that's an okay expense. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to go eat now, figure out what I'm making. I also forgot my reusable plate, so whatever. I'll figure it out. So I'm here, so excited to see how tired I look. Oh my god. freaking out is on that bed actually okay let's stand and i'm gonna cook some rice to go with it probably too much sodium for one meal <laughs> but yeah no idea what kind of rice is this one 
we're gonna make it. And yeah, so hungry. All I had today was Starbucks coffee and a large coffee at least. <laughs> Two bottles of water, three baby. And my meal shake. Normally I have breakfast or something else. So I'm starving, I'm so ready to eat. Oh thank God. Hair is looking like a rat's nest. I laid down for a bit. I don't just sound super tired today. I've kind of been up since four or something. But yeah. Anyways, my phone's dying. So we must find the charger and unpack. Cause that's what we do every new time. Also I'm sweating. So 27 was too high. Oh I'll cool it down quite a bit because I like my bed to be or well like yeah the bed but the, the room to be cool today was actually pretty warm outside tomorrow's gonna be plus 12 celsius which is pretty warm for the winter so where do i charge this i hear a buzzing and i don't know if i'm gonna have to hang my clothes. I will admit, in the other room, I liked it much better with the big chair. Hang up the, hang up the. Maybe did I? I don't know. I could have left my foundation on my washer. I finally bought these Sherpas and I wish I bought them I didn't know I'd like them this much plus they never had the pink in my store I didn't know how much I'd love them and I still kind of want the white and black one but these were $50 each which is kind of a ripoff um and they weren't on sale at all but I had super cash so I only paid $30 for them which is still a lot I mean I spent $60 on them Everything else is super cheap. I got these at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I thought they were festive. But like, I got a really nice cardigan that was originally $63 for 19 so. Yeah, I brought lots of outfit choices. So I'm not really sure what I'll be doing, but I wanna unpack. Oh. I unpack, it really honestly depends on the week. I try to always unpack, but doesn't always work out. I really hope by some miracle my foundation is somewhere in here. So I showered. I, I put stuff on my face. I used a overnight mask just here because that is where my skin's really dry. Then I also used my um, serum all over my face. I can't find my eye serum. And then I sprayed my face with hydration mist. I use fake Aveeno on my hands, and I'm gonna use this cream from Victoria's Secret that I bought when I still supported them. It smells so good though. And I'm gonna put this over my body because winter is upon us. And then for the last bit of my night routine, I use my eucalyptus essential oils. And just because I like essential oils doesn't mean that I'm an anti-vaxxer. Uh, I believe in vaccines and I also just like essential oils so yeah if you guys want an in-depth nighttime routine video like an actual fancy one let me know I do it like living in a hotel if you guys want like a what what I pack being on the road every four days let me know I find that living on the road I always just find that I'm better in a new environment or a hotel because I get into the same old same old routine like my first year of university I had a great routine even my second year then my third year shit hit the fan last year we don't talk about and then yeah so 
that's it for now it's almost nine i'm going to bed sorry for the mess you see and i'll see you guys tomorrow for vlogmas day 10 already holy cow okay guys bye <laughs>